To me, well-being is being fit and healthy, doing hobbies that I'm interested in. Spending time with friends and family, socialising. Having a good laugh, I think, is important to my, to my well-being. One is be independent and be active. My well-being is related to that. It's about being physically well and about being mentally well. It's not every day I feel well, but what would be nice is a magic wand. Looking after myself and also the person that I care for, because that also makes me happy. Being contented and also to look after oneself, that's what it means to me. And um, knowing, knowing what, we can achieve, what I can achieve and going for it. I run a creative writing group. I'm also interested in art, painting. I horse the group. I walk for an hour every day, but in that time I've planned a day, I've had conversations with people I want to have conversations and with, and then when I get home I have my shower, I'm sort of ready for work. Continuing to cook yes. and make yeah. things yeah. Is, is, is very important, if, if, particularly if you've always done it. Yes. You, know, you don't really want to stop doing things like that, do no. you? Well, be means to me to be on my own, listening to music, and also to reminisce about things, and also to be at the seaside, so to be near the water, any water, that is me. Um, I've retired from work now, I retired almost four years ago uh, to look after my husband, um, and not long after we retired I got a dog, and he, because of he needs exercise, it's made me go out and exercise more and I'm quite fortunate that where I live it's about 20 minutes walk from Heaton Park and it is lovely and I go there and I do that and I go, look at that. It's having that really good network of friends and I mean genuine friends. You know, you have loads and loads of acquaintances but friends, yeah, they they owe you a lot. It's just knowing that there's somebody there to talk to. I've got nine grandchildren. If I'm a bit down, you know, they put a big smile on my face. As long as I am active with some kind of work, waste or unwaged, anything which I enjoy it. So I would say I am active and my well-being is looked after. I see my work as respite as well really because in my workplace I'm David, I'm not Martin's husband, I'm not Martin's carer. I am all of those things but I'm something more than that as well. I'm David and that's important, that sense of well-being about the meanness of me really. It gives me a lot of reward, it makes, it makes me feel alive again and it makes me feel that I'm able to use the skills that I have and the abilities that I have to actually help people and support people. I remember when we had two neighbours, old neighbours. At that time I was about 60 or just retired. They, are, they were very good people. And When, if they wanted to go to a, uh, the hairdresser march, yes. I would take the them, or to the doctor, or to shopping. to the shopping, I would take them by car. It, it made me be joyous to hear, to hear their stories and uh, to be able to help. I try and get involved with things like the peer mentoring for the dementia. Uh, I have a lady that I see, but um, other than that, if I didn't have this, then because I live on my own, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have anything, you know what I mean? I wouldn't have anything to get up for in the morning. In my uh, life, I have done a lot of community projects, community work, with lots of reasons, with the notion that whatever I do, it should help the community and people have benefited as I get the feedback time to time, which is very encouraging. I think um, I'm giving something back. I'm giving something back that 
because I can, because I'm able to. I mean, my support network's come from all over, from other carers, from the Manchester Carers Forum, from from the other places that I'm on I'm on committees at, because uh, my experiences, I think, I've, I've got to be helping other people. So, of course, if I can help other people, I'm happy. That's part of my well-being is to help others. I lost my husband in September, he died very suddenly and um, people were concerned that I was going to be on my own too much but because I've got my dog I've got to go out to uh, look after him, I got, had to get back to normal for Spike which helped me a lot, helped me to get through it. What helps me is my faith. As I said I'm not a religious man but I do believe, I do believe that there is a power which I call God outside me, that supports me and helps me. 14 years ago, I moved home and I was talking to the lady next door who made me realise that I was a carer. And she invited me along to Manchester Carers Forum. Walking into that room that first time was like walking into one big family. And now at 62, I'm trying to find me the mature gainer. Because I'm not that gainer when I was under 11, you know, the little girl who had everything and was so prim and proper and everything and I'm not the gainer that was at school who was bullied and I'm not the disruptive teenager, I'm not that part of my life where I'm a mum, I mean I'm a mum but I've not got the children at home with me, I'm this 62 year old mature gainer who is finding her place in society again. To be able to say what is well-being in a few words is very difficult. It is a very complex thing and very changeable thing. It changes from day to day, from individual to individual, from circumstances to circumstances. So it, it is not just, uh, well-being is not just alone to do with the physical well-being. It incorporates physical well-being, emotional well-being, mental well-being, mental health, all sorts of things. I realise that a lot of the things that uh, give me a sense of well-being are either free or cost very, very little. I enjoy feeling the sun on my face after a cold winter. I like going for walks. I enjoy having a cup of coffee or a glass of wine with friends. But to do what you can while you can is a, a good motto. Yes, it is. You've not finished yet. I might be 70 years of age, but I'm still young. I'm still young at heart. I've still got loads of enthusiasm, and that's what keeps me going. Well-being is to have contentment, to be content in your life. But to be content, you have to have health above all. Being able to look after yourself and the people that are around you, even your neighbours, look after your garden, after your home, and have enough financial security to enjoy life.